Welcome everybody, my name is Arnold. I will be teaching you stoichiometry today. You don't believe me? Well, let me tell you something. Right here, I have all of the packs. I have beer packs. I have packs of dogs. I have ice packs. Listen, now that you've seen my qualifications, we will go to the equations. What is the equation? On the reactant side, we have CH4 plus two, two moles of O2. On the product side, we have CO2 and a population size of two water molecules, H2O. Okay, get down. We have a problem. What is the problem? We have four grams of CH4. How many grams of CO2 will it produce? Well, let me tell you, we're gonna do that right now. I hope you're pumped because we're about to power punch this problem in the pituitary. All right, so what do we start with? We start with four grams of CH4. So I will write this down. 4 grams CH4 okay now we're gonna put it over 1 why is that because 4 grams of CH4 divided by 1 is still 4 grams of CH4 over here. that's not a 4 let me do this now it is a 4 okay now I have 4 grams of CH4 I need to know I need to go from grams to moles how many moles I don't know well, what we do? We look at CH4. We look at the periodic table. See, get out your periodic table. I right, listen to me. So we need to find out what one molecule of CH4 weighs so to go from grams to moles. So carbon has an atomic weight of 12. If you look at your periodic table, H, hydrogen, has an atomic weight of 1. We have 4. 4. 4. <laughs> 1 times 4 is 4. 4 plus 12 is 16. Now we go back over here. We have grams up here. Now we want grams over here in the denominator. So we go over here in the denominator. We have grams of CH4. How many grams of CH4? We have 16 per 1 mole. Now we know moles. Now what do we need? What do we need? We need to go to grams of CO2. Well, right now we have moles of CH4. So we need to transfer, we need to go, we need to look at the ratio. Look at this, one mole of CH4 makes one mole of CO2. Great, that's awesome, makes the problem so much easier. So we go over here, we have grams of CH4, these cross out, we have moles of CH4. Now we need to go over here, mole CH4. Okay, and we want up here, mole of CO2. What is it? It's a one-to-one -one ratio. One-to-one. -one. Great. Now we can move on to uh, grams of CO2. Great. We're getting there. This is almost it. Now we multiply that again. What do we do? We go back to our periodic table. CO2. What is oxygen? We know carbon is 12. Okay? So we write 12. We have 12 right here. 12 plus O2. What is oxygen? If we look at the periodic table, oxygen has an atomic weight of 16. We go, okay, we have two of them. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 plus 12 is 44. We write it over here, okay? We have moles of CO2, because this goes down here, right? And how many? One. We have one. Just, just for funsies. Okay, now we go over here. We have how many? 44 grams of CO2. Now that's it. Look at this. Grams of CO2. That's what we want. That answers the problem. Now you get out the calculators. What do we do? 4 is the numerator up here. So we 4, we divide it by the denominator. 16. 4 divided by 16. Cross these out because those cancel the units. Then we cancel these units because these are all ones. Doesn't matter. Now we have these units. These cancel. Moles of CO2. Moles of CO2. Now we go up here. We need to multiply the numerator and the numerator. We told that times. 44 and we get 11 11 is the answer 11 grams of co2 comes from 4 grams of ch4 i was teaching you stoichiometry and now you know you professional you professional stoichiometrist great go out and tell people give high fives and say stoichiometry oh i hope you had an awesome time because i did hey guys thank you so much for watching my video I wanted to thank you, and now you know stoichiometry. I'm so happy for you. Alright, so if you had a great time, you need to go watch my other videos. Sometimes they're over here, sometimes they're over here. You never know. Alright, have a great day. Yeah.